hi students welcome back to our youtube channel in the last video we discussed like the two questions question number 17 and question number 18 and in this video we are going to start from question number 19 so that is about 33rd ikmc contest 2023 so the question is loniki wants the sum of a number in the white cells to equal the sum of the numbers in the gray cell which two numbers does she needs to swap so first of all you can see here we have one two three four five gray and one two three four five white blocks okay so i'm going to write in a linear form like the gray is one seven four six two and the white is three five eight 13 and 11 so if you sum the total so you can see here like 7 plus 1 8 4 12 and 6 12 and 6 18 plus 2 20 and like the lower one the white one is 5 plus 3 is 8 8 plus 8 is 16 16 10 26 26 3 29 130 and 10 40 so it means here is 40 so you can see here one number is 20 other one is 40 so you have to swap the two numbers then the digits should be equalized like the answer should be equalized let's suppose i'm going to swap 1 and 11 like then i will see okay so i'm going to write 11 here and one down so now you can see six and two eight plus four twelve twelve and seven nineteen nineteen plus eleven so it means now the new number is thirty it means decrease by ten because eleven added one removed and now here is five plus three eight eight plus eight sixteen sixteen one seventeen seventeen plus thirteen is 30 yes so it's correct so i just swap the first number and the last number so the answer is equal so it means the answer is 30 30 okay so what will be the answer so here is option a now the next one question number 20 the gear marked a is turned clockwise as shown which two boxes will move upward so here we have like the two different types of gears one is big and the other one is small so you can see one if there is clockwise so it means the small one should be anti-clockwise or counterclockwise and the next one again that is clockwise here let's suppose i'm going to write first like the numbers to indicate for example here is a here is b here is c here is d e f okay like we have like a b c d and f gears so first if a move clockwise the b should be anti-clockwise and c should be clockwise okay and then you can see when it move clockwise so it means here it's twist in the string so it means this side will move upward is it because you can see here the like the arrow that moving upward like this side so it means 2 is the number that move upward upward side or that move upward and next one like look at the other one like you can see here d if b is counterclockwise it means d is also like in the same plane so it means that is also counterclockwise and now when it move counterclockwise it means e should be clockwise and then the f that will against e so it means that should counterclockwise movement so it means when it counterclockwise so it will be look like this because here is a twist so it means this side will move upward okay you can see here from this side the movement continues and then this side will move upward so 
it means option like two and three it means the option number b is correct okay the third question like 21 question number 21 tn wants to draw fig in the six boxes of the pyramid shown each box should contain all of the figs in the two of the boxes directly below it and nothing more she has drawn the fig in some of the boxes already which fig should she draw in the box in the middle of the bottom row it's the same type question so for example if you want to make a pyramid okay and here i'm going to like divide it like let's suppose here we have three here we have two columns and here the one is the above one so let's suppose i'm going to write here is eight so it means eight should be five plus three so five plus three you can write here like for example the five you can split it like uh, that is like for example four and here is two and why it's the middle one i keep constant because five and three both are involved so let's suppose i wrote one so here you can see like uh, five is splitting into four and one and three is also splitting into one and two simple simple is that like the same way you have to see like uh, for example or you can uh, like keep constant the three let me constant it okay i'm going to keep constant three here okay so again you have to see here like in this uh, like the different kinds of shapes like we have one two three four circles one square or the rectangle and the two triangles in which you can see one square is already indicated in this block so it means the triangle is missing okay and the next one you can see one two three four four squares sorry four circles are present and here are the two circles the first one is completed the third one is completed you have to like indicate the different types of figs in the middle row or in the middle box okay so for that purpose you can see one two it means that for example if you put like these uh, let's suppose a let's suppose i'm going to make it like here is a square here is a, a circle then rectangle then triangle so it should be the above one should be here we have like the two squares one triangle and one rectangle and here we have like one square and one rectangle so you can see here for example the total will be like one two three three circles one triangle and one square so it means that is incorrect so option a is incorrect similarly option b it's only contain one triangle i think it's not in it's not correct because you can see okay i am going to put only triangle so it will be circle and triangle and here is triangle it means a circle then triangle then square so it's indicate like here are the two triangles okay and but above one should contain two circles only but there are one two three four circles so it means that is also incorrect okay c only contain the two triangles it means there should be the deficiency of circles so obviously that is incorrect and now let's pose for d let me check the d part so d is basically here one square uh, sorry one circle and the one triangle okay the above one like here of the sum of these two it means there should be two circles and one triangle is it on the other side here the sum of these two it means that also indicate 
टू सर्कल्स एंड वन ट्राइंगल एंड वन स्क्वायर लेट मी राइट द ट्राइंगल अगेन ड्रॉ द ट्राइंगल अगेन इज इट सो यू कैन सी हियर वेन यू कलेक्टिवली सम दीज टू ब्लॉक्स द मिडल ब्लॉक्स so it mean here we have 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 सो वन टू थ्री फोर सर्कल्स एंड वन स्क्वायर एंड टू ट्राइंगल सो इट मीन्स दिस ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज करेक्ट ओके बिकॉज वेन यू सम एंड इट मीन्स दैट द अब वन शुड इक्वल लाइक शुड कंटेन ऑल ऑफ द फिक्स इन द टू बॉक्सिस डायरेक्टली बिलो इट and nothing more i hope so now you understand up to question number 21 and if you face any difficulty so you can uh, text or you can comment like in the comment box okay in the next video we will do the other parts other questions of like this ikmc 2023 like uh, from 22 to onwards the questions okay i already uploaded all of the videos the previous parts like up to parts uh, like part 1 part 2 part 3 and part 4 related to this test so keep uh, update and keep viewing our channel if you face any difficulty then you kindly comment in the comment section take care we'll see you in the next video goodbye